up y'all it's poppin is the boss react to this video by llama arts this is a bus stop horror story animated i got requests to do 14 horror stories animated but that video is an hour long i'm not reacting to that and i'm not cutting it up into several parts i'm just i'm just not doing all of that for these horror stories animated i don't feel the need to do that only certain videos i'll cut up into several parts if i really really want to react to it i'll do it but this is not a strong, strong urge for me to react to, you know, these horror stories animated to be doing an hour worth of them. So, you know, I, I'm just not. But I will do this one. This is um a bus stop horror story. So, you know, we're about to see how, you know, she could get scared at the bus stop. Let's watch. This happened when I was 17 years old. I would go to the gym three to four times a week and ride the bus home. It was a Sunday and I had just missed my bus, so I had to wait longer for another one. I would have called my parents, but they were out for the evening, and taxis charged more, so I decided to sit and wait in the bus shelter. It was a cold night and snow had just started peppering the ground. My bus was taking longer than usual, so I got my phone out and listened to some music. Almost an hour had passed. It was freezing and I hadn't seen anyone at all. That was until I noticed something out of the corner of my eye. It was a creepy guy dressed in thick layers of clothing, walking slowly like towards me. I knew staring at him would draw more attention, so I just focused on my phone. He sat down at the other end of the shelter and just stared at me. Uh -uh. There was something off about him. He seemed like he was either drunk or on drugs. He then asked, what does the bus do? I took out my earphones and said, I think it's delayed because of the snow. He stared at me for a while, then started mumbling to himself. He was really starting to creep me out, so I pretended to be on my phone. After a couple of minutes, I took another look. He moved closer to me. Mm -mm. I looked away for a second, then heard the sound of him sliding even closer. I turned to him and said, you okay there? He stared at me with glossy eyes, lifted his arm and leaned towards me. Immediately, I grabbed my bag and ran as he fell to the ground. I ran down the road trying my hardest not to look back. I kept going until I got to the next bus stop. I turned around to check to see if he was there. He was gone, so I went to sit down. Feeling relieved, I rested my head on the back of the glass and waited for the bus. Shit. I jolted and turned around to see the same guy staring at me through the glass. What the hell is wrong with you? Then he started walking around the shelter towards me. I'm warning you, stay back. I yelled in panic That's as I was backing up. I wanted to run, but I left my bag in the shelter and I couldn't leave without it. Suddenly, the man leaped at me and I quickly moved out of the way. He fell to the ground face first. Start swinging! I froze in shock, then noticed the blood coming from his face. I tried to get a response out of him, but nothing worked. Oh, please. Oh. I called the police and paramedics, and they arrived shortly after. I told them what had happened, and they told me that the guy was on prescription drugs. They found a photo in his wallet of him and his son. The boy looked just like me, so we assumed he thought I was him. I later learned that he had lost his son in a custody battle and went off the rails. He was taken away for treatment. That was the last I saw of him. I got my driver's license shortly after and have never been on a bus since. I don't blame you. See, it's some weird all. That's why I said I, I can't fuck with public transportation like that. Be some weird as people out there. This one wasn't that scary, but it still was cool. It was cool. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you want me to react to, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye!